We are just full of information to help you out today. Aaron Dolan is back with the best tourney bets you need to make. I would love to run through your final four and the odds uh, yep. that you're getting for each team. So in the East, we're going to start off with UConn plus 105. Now, they are in a very difficult part of the region, I will say, but Dan Hurley's team has been the most dominant team for much of the season. So they're a favorite to win it all for a reason. We're going UConn in the East plus 105. Then in the South, I'm looking at Duke plus 400. Duke has two bad losses to NC State and UNC in their last two games, but I can see them making a push here because this is all just dependent upon where they're situated in the bracket. And I will say they're right behind Houston and ahead of number two Marquette in the odds. Then in Midwest, we're looking at Purdue plus 155, top four on offense, 21st on defense. Don't be quick to dismiss Purdue after what you saw last year. Zach Eady and company have been relatively good for the entire season. Then in the West, lastly, we're looking at Arizona plus 150. Now, this is a number two seed that's actually ahead to win the region, ahead of UNC, which is a little bit surprising. I'm aware they've lost two of their last three, but they could make a deep run with that rotation that is led by Caleb Love. So let's look at my four. You know, my husband went to Arizona. You know how we always like bet for other <laughs> reasons and I bet on them every year yes. and they, they that, disappoint that every year. <laughs> My um, team's not even in a Penn State so oh, what's going on with that? There we, wait who did you pick to win it all? UConn. You picked you got so very, a lot of people not like, surprising trendy pick yes, and very you know, trendy. We pick. live here so <laughs> yeah. good job Aaron. That helps. I want to go to a parade. Give me <laughs> yeah, something. There you go. Um, in terms of buzzer beater uh, buzzer beaters hard yes. to say. I know that we always associate that with the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Uh, what's the reality in the betting space? Well all the madness so you could actually bet for there to be a buzzer beater in the entire tournament. You could take that at minus 125. There's been a buzzer beater in every single season since 2012. There wasn't one in that year, but there has been one in 15 of the last 16. And if you want to get spicy, you could also bet that there would be a buzzer beater in the round of 64. That's currently at plus 270, so a little bit of better value there. But again, when you can get it for the entire tournament, that's a little bit more exciting. Again, a little juicier at minus 125, but it's called March Madness for a reason. We mm -hmm. want to see those buzzer beaters, and you yeah. can bet that on ESPN Bet. It'll be under the specials tab. I love that. All right, that's so much fun. Uh, thanks for the info. Folks, don't forget, download that ESPN Bet app and the ESPN tournament challenge app we're going to get your phone just filled with apps and make you some money thanks Aaron. thank you